What's up everybody, I'm Jeremy, and we're gonna be talking about everything from an open differential to a locking differential in this video, breaking down why you might want one or the other. Let's jump into this. All right guys, so we are in carrier number one, and this is gonna be an open differential. This is gonna be the differential that comes in the majority of passenger cars and even vans. This is going to make it so just one wheel is constantly spinning on your vehicle and that is it. So when you're going around corners, both tires will never turn. And if you're going off-roading, it's gonna be what some people will also consider just a one-legger. That's gonna be it. It's going to have some gears here on the inside, but nothing very complex, especially when we're gonna get into these next carrier rear ends. So let's jump into those because I'm bored with this one. All right, guys, so we are on our carrier number two. Now, this carrier is going to be a limited slip carrier. Now, in the Chevy Express vans and even in some of the Ford vans, you will have limited slips come from the factory. And of course, that's really nice. What a limited slip does is it's going to have clutches in the top of it here that are going to engage both sides of your side gears between the two spider gears. What's going to be nice about this is that both of your tires will be turning at the same time while going straight. However, when you make a turn, the clutches will disengage and allow it for, or they will engage actually, and allow it to go around a corner, not having your wheels. You'll hear it sometimes if you have a locker locked up, it makes like a chirping noise going around a corner. This is gonna allow your turns um, to move freely and not have really crazy tire wear as well. So this is number two, this is a limited slip. All right guys, so here we are. This is the, going to be carrier number three. And what this is called is a Detroit locker. Now this is a legendary locker and a lot of people run this in their vehicles because there's very little maintenance and very little things that can go wrong with it. And that's always a plus. So what this is going to have is this is going to have a giant spring in there. And what it does is as long as you hit your foot's on the gas, the spring is going to expand and make both wheels spin. As you go around that corner, you let off the gas, the spring is going to retract and allow that outside wheel to spin at a higher revolution than the inside wheel. Now, when you're off-roading, that's totally different and you may be on the gas as you go around that corner, keeping both of those wheels completely locked and that's always going to be a plus. Takeaway from this is if you're on the gas, it's locked up. This is number three. All right guys, so here it is. This is gonna be number four. And this locker looks really cute because it's not for a van. This is actually for a Jeep. And I had to borrow this because I don't use this type of locker in many of the builds that we do. What locker might I be talking about is this is an e-locker or an electric locker as well. What it does is this does have electrical leads that go to it and it's going to be engaged only when you want it to be engaged and that is what people love about this e-locker. It's going to have less moving components or parts that could go bad like the seals in it in an air locker. What it's going to do though is it's gonna give you power to both wheels when you want it and that's it you turn it on you turn it off simple as could be I think I have something that I would prefer to run over this and I'm gonna show you that locker next all right guys so this is gonna be number five and I am gonna say that this is probably my choice of you know, carriers that I'm gonna run in my vans. I have this in my Chevy Express van. And what I'm talking about here is an ARB air locker. And what's really nice about this is that I'm going to have air on there. Air is also great for filling up tires. Well, well that air unit is going to supply air to the locker, engaging the clutches in there, allowing for both wheels to spin only when I press the button to do so. So again, similar to the e-locker, it's only engaged when I want it, and that's going to be the plus in this air locker. Now I wanna be fair, there is something negative about it, is it does have these seals in it, and the seals over time can go bad. So that is something to think about when choosing an air locker. 
Now I will tell you what is great about this is if you have that Ford van, that semi float, Dana 60, C clip, 35 spline axles, this is the locker that you're gonna have to run. All right guys, so there it is, five different carriers that you may find or want to put in your van. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up. I will see you in the next video.